Hi, and welcome to this week's edition of Referral Exchange Networking's Business Enrichment Series. Now, just because you have your own business doesn't mean you have to go it alone. Entrepreneurs and solopreneurs are often seen as lone wolves, business owners who do it all. Entrepreneurs need to be at the front, steering the ship, taking all the hits and being tougher than the competition. Well, that sounds pretty exhausting. No wonder the burnout rate for new businesses is so high. The Financial Post reports that two thirds of small business owners say they are close to burning out and 50% are struggling with their mental health. Minority business owners have it worse with 62% reporting burnout. The idea that we as small business owners need to go it alone is misguided. In fact, to see an example of how to avoid burnout, all we need to do is look up. Have you ever watched a flock of geese as they migrate? That unique V formation they use, it's no accident. In fact, it's the reason why they can fly so far so fast. As you may expect, research has demonstrated why this strategy works so well. First, it conserves their energy. Each bird flies slightly above the bird in front of them, resulting in a reduction of wind resistance. In fact, this formation allows them to fly a full 70% further than any single bird could fly on their own. The lead goose encounters all the headwinds. However, each bird in the formation takes their turn at the front. As the lead bird tires, they fall back in formation and another takes their place. An additional advantage of the V formation is that it allows the birds to keep track of each other, improving communication and coordination with the group. In fact, fighter pilots have adopted this strategy for the same reason. Going it alone, finding every lead, solving every problem, attempting to satisfy every client's need, saps our energy and our creativity. And this in turn results in fatigue and eventually shoddy work leading to burnout and dissatisfied customers. So I hope you can see where I'm going with this. Yes, it's good to be the leader, but we all need to allow ourselves a break now and again. There are multiple resources available to small business owners that we need to take advantage of. Referral exchange is one of them. Chambers of commerce, trade organizations, and groups that you can find on LinkedIn and other platforms. And if you can't find the right group, start your own. Remember, these groups and organizations are much more than lead opportunities. They are a gold mine of other resources and expertise. Now you might respond with, yeah, but unless you're the lead sled dog, the view never changes. Well, yeah, that may seem funny, but as it turns out, mushes, depending on the conditions and the health of the dogs, often change out the leader they recognize that even their strongest dogs need a break. After all, if the lead dog is fatigued, they become more of a liability than an asset. If you want to stay an asset to your business, you've got to let yourself take a break now and again. Once you've regained your strength, you'll be ready to charge out in front once more. As Aesop wrote in his fable, the goose with the golden egg, the owner, quote, Thinking to get at once all the gold the goose could give, he killed it and opened it to find nothing. Well, that's it for this week. I hope you got something out of it. If you'd like to talk about anything you just heard or you'd like to know how you can grow your business by joining a referral exchange networking chapter or even how to start your own chapter, reach out to me at raustin at referralexchangenetworking.com. That's exchange with an X. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button in the lower right-hand corner of this video. All right. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. And I will hopefully see you next week.